Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Now, if you've been following along, you know I've been back here in the cockpit working on what I call side panels. Now, in this episode, I finally get them to a point where I can move on to something else. So, it's been quite a few episodes, and um, it'll be nice to watch something else after this one. So, hope you enjoy the video. Here we go, awesome. Get right in there. Okay, so what I'm doing here is um, sanding some of the drips on uh, this one panel here. Now, uh, last time I filmed, I was just getting ready to fiberglass the front side. This is the back side of this panel, the clips on it. I was uh, fiberglassing the front sides of these. Now, I got them fiberglass. I sanded them down with my random orbital sander, with some 80 grit paper on there. And they're smooth, but they're not really flat. And I'll get into that in another another time, but uh, what I had to also do, and uh, I'll bring you in here to show you on this one, because I've already, I've already done the sanding on the other one. Uh, and I'll flip this over and bring it in, but uh, I'll talk about it a little bit first and then show you, is uh, I went over the edges, because uh, my fiberglass down around the edges here, and then uh, after the first coat, of epoxy was drying or dried. I went around with a razor blade, and you've seen me do that in other videos, and cut the edge off. You know, cut the just trimmed off the excess fiberglass, the Dynell I was using, and uh, it leaves kind of a, a rough edge. And I epoxy over it, but it takes a few um, tries to actually get it right. And what I mean by that, I'll put some epoxy on it, sand it. It'll be burning through a little bit. I'll put some more epoxy on it. This this kind of material, this Dynell, doesn't uh, feather out like a traditional fiberglass would. If you, if you sand into it, you're going to know it. It's, it just looks like it did when you put it on. It's white and, and uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't really like blend in. You can't really sand into it and, and, and expect to paint over it. It's just it isn't that kind of material. So it's a little more work on the edges to mess around with them. So what I did after I sanded this, this is the front of this one, um, I just put two coats of epoxy on the edge here, and um, I had it in this kind of position, and it dripped over, and now I just had this one flipped over, and I want to get the drips off of it, and then I'll come back on this side and do a little sanding and show you what I'm doing, um, doing there. But uh, even after sanding the other one, it's still a little bit of a a ridge because you're looking at like the end I don't want to say the end grain of the fiberglass but you're seeing the edge of it and um, I just got to keep, keep putting epoxy on there and sanding it until it there's a layer of epoxy on top of that edge and it's nice and smooth so it's going to take a little while but it's good enough to get fitted in the boat today hopefully after I'm done sanding here I'll get over there and fit those in the boat and um, 
and then I'll just play around with it as we go. It'll just be more like spots wherever the foxy's looking, poking through. I'll have to do it. Um, so let me uh, put this back over. We'll, well, we'll bring you in, and uh, we'll show you what I'm doing here. So I flipped this over, and now you're seeing the backside. And here's where the drips are all along this edge. I don't want to use a any kind of electric sander or anything here because I'm just going to burn through and I'll just be doing it over so many times and believe me I know because I I tried doing it. So I just like to use this flop sander and um, we'll just sand this down and uh, just to give you a little demo how I do this backside here. Good, you're not seeing any fiberglass in there. I know I'm going to need to go over some other areas. Now this corner, of course, could be somewhat tricky. It's coming along really good, actually. It's just starting to peep through in the corner here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... So I don't want to go any further. That's where I'm going to stop reach the fiberglass. So with that I'm going to go around the rest of this side and get this going um, and uh, then we'll flip it over and uh, we'll work on the other side. Okay so before I flip this over I just wanted to show you uh, I didn't heed my own advice and I got a little aggressive right in this area right here to see some like white spots hopefully in this camera shot. So it's stripped about this long just got carried away. It wasn't paying attention. So that's going to have to be epoxied over. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel the fibers. And so that needs something coating that or you're going to see the fibers in the paint job. Okay, so now this side is done. I'm going to flip this over and do the other side. I'm going to be digging my, I guess, 1980s. I don't know. These are Jacksonville Jaguar sweatpants pants that I bought when they entered the NFL. I don't know what year that was, but it was probably 1980. I don't know. Still out. Wouldn't wear them in public, but I guess I'm wearing them in public right now. Uh, they're comfortable. And, uh, yeah. So now we're going to work on this side. These are like some of the last panels that I'm actually doing like this on the boat. And um, I always tend to, you know, not, I tend to skip the sanding part and just show, you know, fast forward or don't show it at all. And I don't want to give anybody any delusions as to the amount of work that it takes to sand this stuff down and make it look good. Um, and it is it is a process, and you got to do it if you want it to look good. Um, so, anyways, we'll start sanding this, and uh, we'll get this area done. And that's starting to look really good in that corner. Uh, and that's how you get this nice and flat. You're not gonna, you, know, you can try doing it with the dual action sander, you're gonna get it smooth, but I, you're not gonna get it as flat as you can with a block or a long board, which I'm gonna do this entire panel with a long board eventually. And right now, I'm just working on this edge. So that's pretty much it for getting all this flat now. It's flat all the way over. Now this edge still has some, uh, it's a pretty sharp edge right there. That's where I trimmed that off. And uh, I had trouble sanding that edge on the other part. Uh, when I say the other part, I mean the, the other panel. So right now I'm, I'm trying to round over this edge a little bit, but this, this material doesn't allow you to do that really well. Uh, so I know I'm going to probably need to epoxy this some more. Probably one more time. I think I'll do it. But really on the edge, not on this part, just, just on this edge. But probably going to go over to this part too. I think the next time I do this, it's feeling, it's not feeling that sharp anymore. 
So I think a couple more coats of epoxy on this edge will be all it needs. This is the bottom of the panel. There's going to be a piece of wood trim right here. So none of this really has to be perfect. Okay, so here we are. We're going to try to fit these panels in now. I fit the one on the starboard side already. That went right in like a glove. That thing just dropped right in. Uh, this one actually doesn't fit as well because it has that bow in it right here. It kind of bows out this way. Makes it a little more difficult to drop in. That's why I wanted to show this one going in because the other one just makes it look too easy. <laughs> this one's a little more tough to get in. Um, it is a little short on the end there. I cut it too short, so I got to add some material on the end. And um, I'll see when I put this in how much material I still have to add. I, I didn't really add any material on the end when I fiberglass this front side, so I'm not expecting it to have closed up the gap at all. I would be surprised if it does. But anyways, let's um, let's try to get this thing in and uh, wish me luck. <laughs> Probably struggle a little bit. I don't know. to get it in and that little blocking allow that's kind of holding that piece in that's that's another reason why I think it's difficult to get in because that piece is trying to pull this way too so gap wise now the gap is over here at the back so I don't want to mess I don't want to mess with that gap just checking the other side see I want a little bit of a gap there because I don't want it to be really tight and hard to remove and scratch all the paint up trying to get it off but yeah there's still still a good size gap over there i'd say about an eighth it's a little over an eighth inch i'd say so definitely have to add some material there and then bring it back and refit it so we'll see what we do there just probably just add some strips of fiberglass on there to try to build up a thickness to it and that'll be it so anyways i like the way it's fitting I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I was thinking about it. Uh, putting a couple of little handles on here or some holes or something like that to be able to lift this thing up out of here. There's no place to grab it right now. Um, but when I was digging through my tools, and you saw me just use this tool, um, I've done some auto body work as a hobbyist on cars. That's what I did before I was doing boats, and I still have cars I want to work on. But um, in the process someday when I'm done with this. Uh, but I bought a bunch of these little tools. I think I got a package of three of them. I think it was like uh, from Harbor Freight or somewhere like that. And um, they're just for manipulating body pieces and getting gaps right and things like that. You can kind of wedge them in. Like this one has a little hook on that side and straight on this side. Now this one I, they're just made out of plastic. Really hard plastic so they don't really flex like those cheap plastic spatulas and things you can buy for putty knives and things. Um, so that's why I needed something like this. And I've sanded the end down on this one to make it even sharper because the gap down on the bottom here is not that big. And uh, what I'm going to do to remove this, and I tried it on the other side and it worked, worked awesome. So I'm glad I found this thing kicking around my garage. Uh, I've got to find a place kind of in the middle here, which is probably right in here. And um, I could just get this down in the crease like that, and it already starts pulling it up. And then if I turn it like this, I can get my fingers underneath and just pull it out like that. So it's going to be that simple to get this off. I just have to leave this on the boat. Whenever I want to pull that off, I'll just grab this tool and use it. Um, so that's going to be good. I don't have to mess with this. I can keep it nice and clean like I wanted it. And um, that, I'm glad I found this. That's really going to work out nice. And um, it's going to look nice painted. It's going to have the trim on the bottom here. Matches all the other trim.
So I'm trying to figure out a way to add a little extra to the port side panel where it's a little bit, I cut a little bit short. This is the side panels. So what I did was I took some of this two inch fiberglass tape that I had. I cut it in half this way into like one inch strips. And I just laid them on top of each other here. And there's probably about, I think there's like eight layers here. It's not quite an eighth inch. It's a little bit less, I think, than an eighth inch. Uh, but that's good. And what I did to to get it on here and not have it stick to my counter, hopefully. So I used this packing tape here. And I put I put three strips on when I was doing it. But um, I took the other two outside ones off. So there's only one left on here. Now, before I remove this, I'm just going to go over it with some 80 grit sandpaper on this block just to flatten out the top a little bit because it's still stuck down pretty good and it'll be an easy way to, to do that. I think that's good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. And remove this. There we go. So that's it. Just pops right off of there. So I'll just clean up the edges a little bit. I don't have to get crazy with this either. I'm just going to drop this on the floor and actually put the panel on it and just epoxy it down that way. I put some packing tape down here first in case there's any stuff that comes out, which it probably will. I'm just taping this down so it doesn't move. And I'm just worried about this kind of moving around if I tried to put it on horizontally somewhere. So I think just the weight of the panel on here will push down on this and hold it in place. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm going for. And I'm just mixing up some epoxy. I thought about using 610 in the tube, but it just takes too long to dry. And I want this to dry so I can sand it tomorrow. So I'm just going to uh, thicken it up with colloidal silica. And uh, it dries a lot faster than the other stuff. So the other stuff would be a little more convenient and easy. But, um, I'll just use this. Alright, that's relatively square. I was trying to get it, um, square to it this, in, in this direction here. Uh, and I'm trying to also make sure that the panel's got an edge on it, cut at a, at a bevel, so that I have to kind of get it that way too. But I've got some clamps up here to kind of hold it in place so it doesn't flip over. Contraption. And now I'll just clean this up a little bit. I gotta crawl behind here. I didn't make this very easy. All right, I think that's gonna be good. Any other cleanups from there I could do once it's dry and it's on there. Like I said, I'll come back. I'll probably just sand this. I was thinking about trimming it with the oscillating tool, but I don't really have it here. Uh, it's at the boat. <laughs> Most of my tools. 
If I cut this piece in half because uh, if I have to add more, cut the other piece to do the same thing onto this piece. Okay, so I put the panel on my table here, pulled it off the floor. Uh, came out good, I think. You can still see the tape there where I had the little fiberglass strip taped down to the plywood. Um, didn't stick at all, just came right up nice, and it uh, looks pretty good. This top side, I'll show you the, the bottom here, or the actual edge. And there we go. So I'm going to take my oscillating tool and just cut the ends off there that are sticking out. And then uh, when I get home from the boat tonight, working on it over there, I'm going to go um, sand this down. And we'll um, try fitting it this week one more time. The rest I'm going to just do with my sander later on. liking that trick worked bring in and zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better okay well I've got the port panel home and um, I was noticing when I was putting it on and taking it off that this corner up here this is where the transom is uh, this corner hits on the transom panel when I pull it on and off. It looks beautiful and fits perfect when it's installed, but just trying to pull it down and out, and since the transom is sloping this way, this just keeps catching on it. So I'm going to cut it right here at this line with my jigsaw, just trim it off, do, it, do the same thing to the starboard side panel, and then I'll kind of round it, o round it over a little bit and put some fiberglass tape on there, six ounce tape, just to cover the end grain and um, you know, all epoxy and everything too eventually, but I'm not going to do that probably tonight, but I just want to trim these off. Alright, that should do it. I'll just uh, put a little fiberglass on there and uh, and it'll be done. So we've now fast forwarded to July 1st, 2021, and guess what? There's the side panels right there. Still haven't been touched since March. I did uh, put some fiberglass on that corner that I cut off in the last little clip there, uh, but I haven't sanded it or anything. So, you know, I just, I just found their spot there and they're just happy sitting there right now. But right, I'll get to them at some point right now. We've got the whole cockpit taken apart. You can see all the side deck pieces right here next to me as well because uh, I'm doing some work back there. Uh, you'll see that in a future episode. Now, speaking of future episode, um, I'm not going to put out any more videos uh, for this month of July. I decided to take a break from editing videos and posting videos just for a month. And um, I'll put another one out uh, probably in the beginning of August. So. I hope everybody has a nice July and um, we'll see you in August. So until then, have a good one and we'll see you soon right here on Renovation Sportfish. Fish.